Thompson Rivers University is expecting to have 540 solar panels up and running by March of next year, which should help lower the institution's BC Hydro bill by providing more clean energy to power its campus. As part of the 600,000 first phase of the project, more than 1,000 panels will be installed at TRU over the next five years. The first panels will be installed on the Campus Activity Centre, the Arts and Education Building and the Industrial Training and Technology Centre. We're moving ahead with those because they're structurally ready to be to go. The three options for the remainder, well, the, the 650 uh, other kilowatts, uh, the most likely scenario is structures in parking lots just to house solar panels. That's the most likely scenario. The other two options are retrofitting other buildings so they can handle solar panels on the roof or ground mounted. The solar panels will help power the university's 40 million low carbon district energy system, currently under construction on campus near Old Main. The system will use air and water source heat pumps with the aim of reducing TRU's greenhouse gas emissions by 95% when it's expected to go online by 2026. Yeah, so we're going to need a lot more electricity to run all these heat pumps. So this is just, and, and electricity is actually going to be more expensive than, now. at the end of the day, it's going to be more expensive to heat using electricity, but we think it's the right thing to do as an institution because it's going to reduce our emissions by 95%. If you think about, you know, your, your um, meter going this way when you use power, so if we're producing our own power, it's going to slow it down. And in theory, if we were to produce more than we consumed, it would go in reverse, but we're not going to get anywhere close to that, even with the one megawatt but it will slow it down, so we're gonna to have to pay less to BC Hydro for the power we use. The first solar panels will begin installation in early January with completion expected in March. The panels and their installation are expected to pay for themselves within about 15 years. TRU's goal is to reach zero carbon emissions by 2030. For CastNet Kamloops, I'm Josh Dawson.